podcast, RSNA 2023, and I am at the Canon booth. We're here looking at their MRI technology, and they got some cool things going on. I got Tim here to tell us what's really going on. Thanks, Reggie. So this year at RSNA 2023, Canon has the 3T Galan system on the booth this year. This year, it has some really interesting features that we know will help our customers get through faster and easier than ever before. First and foremost, our 3T system comes with a lot of patient comfort features. We introduced decades ago, the ability to encase the gradient coil, the object in MR systems that make all the noise in a vacuum chamber. This reduces the noise substantially and helps improve patient comfort quite nicely. Some of the software features that we have on the Galan system are things that make scanning faster and better than ever before. Customers tell us we can scan 30 to 40% faster than we have ever scanned on wow. a 3T system and not compromise image quality. Because in MR, there's always something to give up. Yep. We don't have to give up anything scanning faster and accelerating that technique without losing image quality and certainly having our ACE denoising reconstruction to help image quality become better, look like it has more signal to noise, and then also peak, which is a super resolution three times in both directions so that you can scan at a lower resolution and upscale it to a higher resolution. Wow. Again, helping with image quality, helping physicians see things better and easier than ever before. Well, that's awesome. I know you got some pretty cool coils here. What, what are, what's kind of going on with these? So this is our shape coil. Um, a lot of our customers have told us that we want to buy a couple of coils. We don't want to buy every body part specific coils. We want right. these to be general purpose. Right. So the idea of being able to use this coil for multiple features and functions is really, it's exciting for our customers oh, to be able sure. to do that. Having this coil in a single configuration or a W configuration, which is two of these coils together, works great to cover wide areas of the body. Right. It can be scanned this way, this way, even diagonally, and even can be wrapped around body parts no to make it easier. No decoupling. So really nice that coil. Nice. The swine coil is on the table. It's actually movable and removable so that you can accommodate patients who want to go head first or feet first. Right. It slides back and forth and um, can stay on the table for just about every exam. And actually, I always like to say this, it play, they play well in the same sandbox together. They don't conflict with one another. So if I wanted to do something like spine coil, body coil, shape coil, like the whole all body together almost, and scan right? coils head to toe, I can do that really easily. And the system automatically identifies the elements that are in the field of view where the patient is located. You guys do have a very interesting detection system. I noticed the camera above us. What's yeah. going on with that? So we understand that there's a lot of new technologists entering the market, and some of them don't fully understand maybe how to position patients properly. Right. A lot of time is spent going back into the magnet room, repositioning, rescouting. What our ceiling camera does is automatically identify the patient position, head first, feet first, what body part we're doing, and can automatically enter the patient into the magnet perfect the first time rather than having to repeat that wow. positioning. So really saving time, that. it has an AI component to it. So it understands the body parts, whether it's a big patient or a small patient. The other AI features we have once the patient gets in is how do I position those slices? Where do oh, I yeah. put them? Exams like brain, spine, whole spine, liver, prostate, knee, and even cardiac can all be done in a single mouse click from the console. So oh, wow. if you can imagine, cardiac is really one of the, the more challenging MRs to do. It's not done yep. that often, yep. and it usually requires a special technologist to do cardiac MR. Right. This can be done very easily and, and very um, consistently from technologist wow. to technologist. With disability, we love that. Within one minute after the 3D localizer is done, the system automatically takes over, plots all of the views of, of the heart, including vessels, valves, and all the different views that you would do. And within a minute, you're scanning, not the traditional 10 to 15 to maybe 20 minutes of prep work. And by then your patient's oh, tired and can't hold their breath exactly. anymore. So the idea of getting to the sequence 
and the position that you need to answer your clinical questions right. within a minute is very important to our clinicians. What would what is the max uh, coil configuration that you know the scanner can actually handle? So we have obviously a lot of different coils, whether they're body part specific or mm -hmm. whether they're multi-purpose. We can essentially put coils head to toe. There are ports at the foot end and at the head end of the table that can handle attaching all of the coils. So I, essentially, if you're doing multiple body parts, you can configure everything on the table, put everything on the patient, and then just move the table to the area of interest that you're scanning next ah, without having to come in, without having to reposition patients. There's, again, ports, five ports down at the bottom, For sure. several ports up here at the top, and it's not um, a coil, even our shape coil, can go into any of these ports. Ah, so we don't have port specific. Right, we don't have one port that handles the shape coil and that's the only place you can put it. Right. We can put it anywhere. And again, these coils play really nicely together. The system, again, identif identifies automatically oh. what elements are in the field of view. So you can select, I want to use these and turn these off. Would you be able to demo any of the detection system? Not, not today. Okay. No um, the other thing we do from a throughput perspective. Oh yeah. Um, as a vendor, we look to see and optimize patient table time. We oh, wanna make sure that important. we're doing things quickly and efficiently here without compromising image quality. What we also noticed is that in order to do things with the most or maximum efficiency, we have to find how we get patients on the table. So yeah. the time between patients becomes very, very important. Uh, customers come to us and say, we can do two and three patients an hour on your system. We'd like to do four or maybe even five patients an hour. Ooh. That's pretty challenging. Right. Just having the acceleration techniques on the table, we need to find efficiencies elsewhere. Cool. Canon has developed a Tablet UX, a software that actually can remote to the system, check in your next patient, make sure you've got correct medical history, screening questionnaires, you can choose protocols, enter patient information. It actually talks to the scanner back and forth. And instead of making multiple phone calls to the technologist that's on the scanner taking care of your current patient, right. you can now see in real time images that are being produced from the system from the remote tablet. Oh wow! You can add your protocols, get everything set up, and alert the technologist on the scanner. Your next patient's 100% ready to go. All of the protocols are in there. The questionnaire's done. Their IV's started. We alert you whether it's contrast or not. Everything's done. The I, technologists, all they do is clear the current patient off the table and they know the next one bro. can come right in. So not only do we find efficiencies here, we're finding efficiencies elsewhere so that we can expedite that process. Oh, we love that. Efficiencies matter because Absolutely. every second counts in MRI. We all know sure that. Is. So we love what you're doing at Canon. We really appreciate the time, Tim. Thank you Thank so you much. so much. We do really appreciate you. This is Three Podcast. We're at the Canon Booth Arsenal 2023. And we're out. Come see us.